Welcome to Battle Network Academy. It's about time I go over the style changes, what they do, and how to get them. I'll be covering both the styles from Battle Network 2 and 3. I'll have timestamps in the description if you're looking for a specific one. Getting a new style is slightly different between the two games. In both games, you gain points towards different styles depending on actions made during battle. I will have a link in the description with a list of what actions give what points to which styles. Styles can be leveled up. Doing so in Battle Network 2 increases the charge attack damage, and in Battle Network 3, leveling up will grant access to additional Navicus programs without causing any errors. Leveling up requires you to finish a virus battle in the specific style that you're trying to level up. The number of battles required to level up differs between styles. There are four elements that Mega Man will change to when style changing. These elements are picked at random, so good luck on getting the one that you want. Each element has a unique charge shot and chips that only that element can use. Heat style gives you fire body, which makes you weak to aqua attacks, but allows you to walk on lava panels. In Battle Network 2, having Heat Style lets you use the Big Red Wave chip. And in Battle Network 3, Heat Styles allow you to use the Standout and Salamander chips. Heat Styles change your charge shot to Flamethrower. Flamethrower hits three panels in front of Mega Man, dealing 50, 75, and 100 fire damage in Battle Network 2, and 50, 80, and 100 fire damage in Battle Network 3. Next we have Aqua Styles. Aqua Styles give you Aqua Body. This makes you weak to elect attacks, but allows you to walk on ice panels without slipping. In Battle Network 2, Aqua Styles let you use the Freeze Bomb chip, and in Battle Network 3, Aqua Styles allow you to use the Water Line and Fountain battle chips. Aqua Styles changes your charge shot to Bubbler. Bubbler hits in front of Mega Man and one panel behind the initial point of impact, dealing 30, 40, and 50 aqua damage in Battle Network 2, and 40, 60, and 80 aqua damage in Battle Network 3. Elect styles give you elect body and make you weak to wood attacks. In Battle Network 2, elect styles are able to use the Sparker battle chip, and in Battle Network 3, you can use the Lightning and Bolt battle chips. Elect styles change your charge shot to Zap Ring. Zap Ring sends a projectile down Mega Man's row, dealing 10, 20, and 30 elect damage in both Battle Network 2 and 3. This attack will also paralyze your opponent, with the paralysis lasting for 30, 60, or 90 frames, depending on your style level in Battle Network 2 and your weapon level in Battle Network 3. Wood styles give you wood body, making you weak to fire attacks, but giving you regen when you're standing on grass panels. In Battle Network 2, wood styles have access to the Gaia Sword battle chip. And in Battle Network 3, you have access to both Gaia Sword and Gaia Blade. Wood styles change your charge shot to Twister. Twister will create a tornado two spaces away from Mega Man, dealing 10, 15, and 20 wood damage in both Battle Network 2 and 3. This attack can hit up to 8 times, and in Battle Network 3, using this attack on a sand panel will deal times 2 damage. Now let's get into the styles themselves. I'll cover these styles in Battle Network 2 first, and then we'll loop back around and cover the styles in 3. First up we got Gut Style. To get this style, you'll need to use your standard P-Shot and standard Charge Shot. Gut Style grants the user Super Armor and a times 2 to their Buster stat, with the damage capping out at 10. But with this style, your Rapid Fire will be set to level 1. To level up with this virus, you'll need to win 120 virus battles. Next we have Custom Style. Custom Style is gained by putting chips into your hand. You don't necessarily have to use them, just as long as you send them to Mega Man. Using program advances also gives you points, and then sacrificing chips to the add feature to give yourself some more slots also gives you points towards this style. While in this style, you'll have Cus 7. To level this style up, you'll need to win 160 virus battles. Next up is Team Style. To get this style, you'll need to select Navi Chips while in battle. It doesn't matter if you use them or not, you just need to have them in your hand. This style allows you to put 8 total Navi Chips in your folder. To level this style up, you'll need to win 130 Virus Battles. Next is Shield Style. To get this style, you'll need to use more Defensive and Recovery Chips while in battle. Defensive chips being chips like barriers and curse shield, stuff like that. 
With this style active, you will gain First Barrier and Back B Shield. And last but not least, the final style in Battle Network 2 is Hub Style. To get Hub Style, you'll need to defeat all version 3 navvies, excluding base. You'll need two or more level 1 styles, or one level 2 or one level 3 style. Once these conditions are fulfilled, Mega Man's next style will be Hub Style. Hub Style is only offered to you once, so do not pass it when it shows up. With this style active, your max HP will be cut in half, but in its place you'll gain attack times 2, and your rapid will be set to 1, you will gain super armor, cust 10, shield, first barrier, and you can have a total of 8 navi chips in your folder. Kind of a mix of all the other styles in the game, but with a bit of a drawback with that 50% health. Alright, and now starting back at the top with Battle Network 3's styles. In Battle Network 3, the style change comes tied with Navi Cusp bonuses and restrictions. Base Mega Man, with no styles, can only use white, pink, and yellow Navi Cusp programs. When you get a style change, you gain access to one additional color depending on the style that's active. Guts and Shadow styles allow you to use red Navi Cusp programs. Shield and Custom styles let you use blue NaviCus programs. Team and Ground styles let you use green NaviCus programs. And Bug style lets you use gray NaviCus programs. If you try to run a NaviCus program that's incompatible with your style, you'll get an error code. This will prevent you from exiting the NaviCus. You can bypass this, however, if you have the Mod Tools key item. This item can be bought from this guy on Beach Street for 5,600 zenny. If you have the mod tools, you can hit the select button when an error occurs and input a code. The code will bypass the error for you, allowing you to put whatever in your NaviCust. I will have a link in the description with the codes that you need to use. Luckily for me, the details for the Battle Network 3 styles are a bit more rapid fire, so let's just jump into it with Gut Style. Getting this style is the same as in Battle Network 2, you just need to use your standard P-Shot and standard Charge Shot. Unlike in Battle Network 2, Gut Style no longer gives you super armor. In its place, you get Gut's Machine Gun, allowing you to shoot out 5 P-Shots rapidly when you spam your B button. You also gain Buster Times 2, which will double your Buster stat that you put in your Navi Cust, maxing out at 10. Leveling up this style gives you access to Super Armor at level 2, Break Buster at level 3, and Break Charge at level 4. Next up is Custom Style. Getting this style is the same as it is in Battle Network 2. All you gotta do is put chips into your hand, it does not matter if you use them or not. Using Program Advances puts points towards Custom Style, and also sacrificing chips to the Add feature will give you points towards this style. This style gives you Cust 6, and also allows you to get special exclusive chips when S-ranking certain viruses. Leveling up this style grants you access to Custom 1 Blue at level 2, Custom 1 Yellow at level 3, and Custom 2 at level 4. Next we have Team Style. Getting this style has also not changed between 2 and 3. All you gotta do is put Navi chips into your hand. Doesn't matter if you use them or not. This style allows you to add six total Navi chips to your folder. It also allows you to obtain V4 Navi chips from V3 bosses when you S rank them. Leveling up this style grants you access to Mega Folder 1 Green at level 2, Mega Folder 1 Pink at level 3, and Mega Folder 2 at level 4. And then we have Shield Style. Getting this style has also not changed. All you gotta do is use defensive or recovery chips while in battle. With this style active, you'll get first barrier, and successfully blocking an attack with the shield or reflector Navicus programs will recover 10% of your max HP. Your max HP is whatever your HP is with HP memories and your Navicus. Leveling up this style grants you access to block at level 2, shield at level 3, and reflect at level 4. And with the four classic styles out of the way, let's get to the more fun ones. Bug Style. To gain this style, you'll need to finish battles with your NaviCust bugged. If you're trying to grind to get this style, you gain more points towards it the more turns you complete while having active bugs. This style will give you two randomly selected positive bugs and one negative bug at the start of each battle. 
the list of positive bugs being 10 seconds of invincibility, setting your buster stat to 5, giving you cust 10, or first barrier 100. And the negative bugs that you can get are forced move, making Mega Man move forward or backwards without your input, HP bug, cussed HP bug, or buster blanks, giving you the misfire effect from buster bug, but without the potential of a charge shot. Leveling up this style will grant you bug stop at level 2 and dark license at level 3. Next we have shadow style. Exclusive to Battle Network 3 Blue, Shadow Style is acquired by using stealth chips like Invis or Pop-Up. With this style active, your charge shot will become Invis if you have no upgrades to your attack level. If you do have any upgrades in your attack level, you'll just have your elemental charge shot. Leveling up this style will grant you Shadow Shoe at level 2, Float Shoes at level 3, and Anti-Damage at level 4. And last but not least, we have Ground Style. To get this style, you'll need to use chips that change, crack, or break panels, like Cannonball, Gutsman, or Geddon. This style makes Mega Man's charge shot crack the panel that's underneath the hit target, allowing you to make an absolute mess out of your opponent's area. Leveling up this style grants you access to Set Green at level 2, Set Ice at level 3, Set Lava at level 4, and Set Holy at level 5. The Set Stage NaviCust programs will convert all standard panels to whatever you have set in your cust at the start of each round. And there we have it, style change. While I absolutely adore souls and crosses, I really wish they didn't get rid of the style change function. I thought it was really cool. Anyways, this video has been long enough. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.